My name is Thomas Tremholm. My name is Lauren Jansen. And I'm Michelle Bristol. Welcome to Group 125's video. <laughs> In this problem, a motor lifts a 1,000 kilogram elevator, a height of 100 meters over 50 seconds at a constant speed. We're asked to find how much work the motor does and how much power did the motor use. Okay, so we're asked to find the work done by the motor when it's pulling up the elevator. So we have um, our equation for work, which is FD cosine theta. But in this case, theta is zero, so that's just gonna be one, and that's just gonna be a multiplier that's gonna keep this the same. So when we're doing F, our force is the force of gravity because the elevator is moving up and the force of gravity is pulling down. So we have mg times h, which is our d. So we have F, mg, d is our h, which is our displacement. And so in the problem, we're given um, 1,000 kilograms is our mass. Um, our G is 9.81, like always. And then our displacement is H, which is 100 meters. So then working this all out, that gives us work of 981,000 joules. Okay, so for this step of the problem, we had to find the power that was exerted by the motor. And to do this, the equation for power is work over the change in time. So for this, we used the answer that we got from the previous step, which was 981,000 joules, and then we put it over the change in time. So then we got the power was equal to 19,620 joules per second, but we know that one joule per second is equal to one watt. So the power exerted by the motor is 19,620 watts.